Private, Redden, Connecticut, August 28, 1908. Dear Sir, my private, I mean, don't print any remarks of mine. I like your list. The largest visible influence. These terms require you to add Jesus, and they doubly and trebly require you to add Satan. From A.D. 350 to A.D. 1850, these gentlemen exercised a vaster influence over a fifth part of the human race than was exercised over that fraction of the race by all other influences combined. Ninety-nine hundredths of this influence proceeded from Satan, the remaining fraction of it from Jesus. During those fifteen hundred years, the fear of Satan and hell made ninety-nine Christians, where love of God and heaven landed one. During those fifteen hundred years, Satan's influence was worth very nearly a hundred times as much to the business as was the influence of all the rest of the Holy Family put together. You have asked me a question, and I have answered it seriously and sincerely. You have put in Buddha, a god with a following at one time, greater than Jesus ever had. A god with perhaps a little better evidence of his godship than that which is offered for Jesus's. However, in fairness, can you leave Jesus out? And if you put him in, how can you logically leave Satan out? Thunder is good. Thunder is impressive. But it is the lightning that does the work. Very truly yours, S.L. Clemens.